Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla.com. And in this video, we're going to break down one of our top selling boots over the last few years. It's actually the longest running production boot from CD. It's called the On Road, and this is the Gore Tex version. Gore Tex came in the newer version for the last few years. This is a great crossover boot. When I say crossover boot, it's still a high boot. It's a pretty rugged boot, offers a lot of protection. It's about 325 bucks. But what we tend to find is that tours, adventure tours, and even the cruiser crowd really digs the way this guy fits. Now the top here, you're going to see it's a really high boot. It does cinch small enough to go under a pair of loose fitting jeans, but what we typically find is that most people would wear their jeans on the inside of this guy. Now the big thing you're going to notice right out of the gates is that it's Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex means it's guaranteed waterproof for life. If this boot ever leaks, you call CD, you call us send it back, we replace it. Gore-Tex is the membrane that allows the boot to be waterproof, but breathable. And breathable means that it cannot, it will not allow any water vapor in, or I'm sorry, water droplets, but water vapor, which is evaporating sweat from your foot, can permeate off, can evaporate out through the boot. It keeps you from getting really clammy. It allows you to be really comfortable even on a hot day when you're riding and you're sweating a lot. So moving on from that, if we look at the upper construction here, it's top grain Italian leather. I mean, one of the reasons this boot is so popular, besides the fact that it's Gore-Tex, is because of the style of it. It's just a great looking boot. You know, if we start with the sole and work our way up, you're going to see it's a stitched on lug type sole, basic sole, reasonable amount of flex. I would say I would give it a medium grade. It's going to be uh, it's going to be stiff, but it's not going to be so stiff that it's uncomfortable to walk around off the bike. Now, if you're commuting this guy and you're going to spend eight hours at work walking around all day, it might be a little bit too stiff for that. But for the average rider, you know, day tripper, you're going to be fine. And it's going to offer a beefed up level of protection. Moving up, so we see it's top grain leather. You have a reinforced shift patch here on the toe. You have some articulation on the forward and aft of this guy, and that's going to add flex. Now you have nylon buckles. You have two of them. There used to be three on the old version. What they've gone to is a nylon buckle system and then this full cuff, which has the gator behind it that continues the Gore-Tex layer all the way around. There's basically that Gore-Tex inner booty, which allows, you know, it, it's a complete 360 degree seal from any of the elements. And if you didn't have this, that would be a big weak point for water to enter. But what you're going to notice here is you have these nylon buckles that protect, they add a level of protection. They give you some, you know, extra padding or extra, you know, depth off the ground there. But what you're also going to notice is there's two positions on these, on these uh, thermoplastic buckles. So if you have a bigger foot, or if you need a little bit of extra room, you're wearing an extra stock, you could always switch it up and go to the outside buckle and get that extra eighth or quarter of an inch of circumference there. So I talked a little bit about opening this guy up. We'll open it again, show you the inside. It's going to have a really nice, comfortable liner. It's going to be wicking. It's going to pull sweat away from your body, get it close to that Gore-Tex membrane, allow it to uh, evaporate out. As we flip this guy backwards, you can just notice reinforcement up the heel. This guy has a reinforced heel box, has a reinforced toe, and actually has arch support that's completely removable. Allows you to really, you know, get a good amount of protection and then custom fit the arch a little bit with these guys. I'd say that they're an average width. Some CD boots, when you go on the race side, that hardcore technical race boot, they tend to run a little bit more narrow. The touring stuff from CD runs more true to size for the American foot. Notice we also have medial protection here on the inside over your malleolus bone. And that's going to be a hard part protector to guard against crushing and guard against ankle injuries. And then lastly, moving up the shin, it's not a hard part, but it's a reinforced shin panel here that's extra leather, extra padding behind it. Very common injury, especially on an upright or touring style bike, is going to be in a, in a crash situation, your uh, shin would come in contact with a foot peg and that's no good for anybody. So $325, extremely popular boot, kind of a crossover style. You know, it's this, in my opinion, this is what the, the Revit Monster Glove is to gloves at, at, at that crossover level. This guy is kind of the touring boots. $325, Gore-Tex, available at revzilla.com slash cd dash boots. As always, it's over 39 bucks. It's going to ship for free. If you get the wrong size, fire it back to us. We'll send you a first size exchange for free as well. And anything over 100 bucks, which this boot is, is going to offer Teamzilla Cash, which is our loyalty program. Earn some cash, apply it to your next order, save some money with us in the long run. If you have any questions, shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Once again, this is the CD On-Road Gore-Tex Touring slash Cruiser Boot, available at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.